Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Harris and Ava get uplifting news. At the Salem Police Headquarters, Ava was bound to a table when Susan and EJ showed up. Ava and EJ contended before Rafi interfered with the upheaval. Susan told EJ that she wouldn't squeeze charges against Ava. Offended by Susan's choice, EJ heaved as Ava sneered. Susan said that she had pardoned Ava and that she would prefer Rafe Center around finding the one who had conveyed her to Edmund in London. Ava said thanks to Susan before Susan and EJ left. Subsequently, Rafe let Ava know that there was as yet a likelihood that Ava could be remanded to Bayview. In the cross-examination room close by, Marlena expressed gratitude toward Harris for having helped salvage Susan. Marlena proposed to vouch for Harris some way she could. Harris said that he was more worried for Ava. Marlena recorded every one of the manners in which that Harris had helped Ava. Harris detected that Marlena had an inquiry. Marlena inquired as to why Harris had accomplished such a great deal for Ava, and she inquired as to whether there was more than fellowship among Harris and Ava. Marlena said that Harris was trying to claim ignorance about his affections for Ava. Harris said that he would have rather not discussed his sentiments, yet he conceded that he thought often about Ava in light of the fact that the two had filled close lately. All of a sudden, Ava went into the room with Rafe, and she grinned at Harris. Rafe said that the lead prosecutor's office wasn't squeezing charges for the manufactured travel papers. Ava noticed that she Harris actually needed to finish their court-requested stays at Bayview. Marlena said she would love to converse with Ava's primary care physicians to ask about whether Ava getting back to Bayview was important. Marlena ventured out. Rafe said thanks to Ava and Harris for attempting to persuade an admission out of EJ at the point when Marlena returned, she said that Ava's PCPs had chosen to let her out of their consideration at Bayview. Marlena added that Ava was allowed to leave. Ava tossed her arms around Harris as she praised the news. Alone in the room with Marlena a short time later, Harris said that he felt his psychological wellness had improved since he had first entered Bayview. Harris included that being the run with Alva had caused him to feel in charge once more. Harris inquired as to whether he could end his visit at Bayview and keep seeing Marlena on a short-term premise. Marlena concurred, and Harris expressed gratitude toward her. I'm only inquisitive around a certain something. Your choice to leave Bayview. Does that have a say in the way that Ava is no longer there? Marlena inquired. Not the slightest bit, Harris said with a grin and a sparkle in his eye. A brief time later, Harris called the Brady Bar and talked with Kate, who was glad that Harris was protected. Harris asked about leasing Eric's old room over the bar. Kate said she thought it was really smart, and she consented to tell Roman. Harris expressed gratitude toward Kate. After the call finished, Ava got back to the room. Harris shared that Marlena had consented to set him free from Bayview. Ava appeared to be stressed that Harris would leave town, however Harris guaranteed Ava that he was staying put. Everything being equal, I'm truly happy that you're remaining in Salem. I surmise I'll see you around, Ava said delicately. Better believe it, I surmise so. Harris answered as he and Ava looked at each other. In Horton Town Square, Tate let Nickel know that he felt idiotic for having misread a young lady's advantage in him prior that evening. Nickel was shocked when she discovered that the young lady was Holly. Nickel shared that she was Holly's mom. Tate let it slip that Holly had said she was keen on another person. Nickel inquired as to whether Holly had referenced who the person was. Tate said just that Holly had shared that she felt her crush felt the same way about her. Tate got a text from Brady, and he let Nickel know that he needed to leave. Nickel advised Tate to be protected and to keep in contact. After Tate left, E.G. showed up, and he said he had amazing news to share. Nickel was excited when Susan showed up. Susan discovered that Nickel was pregnant. Nickel highlighted her stomach, and she said that she was conveying Susan's future grandkid. Susan appeared to be far-fetched. Could it be said that you are certain? Since I'm not getting any sort of recognizable association, Susan said. E.J. demanded that he and Nickel were having a child and that Susan would before long have another grandkid. Susan said that she was glad for E.J. what's more, Nicole. At John and Marlena's penthouse, Brady and Tate contended when Brady said that he didn't think it was really smart for Tate to seek after Holly. 
Brady conceded that he was being hard on Tate since Tate had caused Brady and Theresa a ton of stress. Brady said that Tate would sign up for Salem High the next day and he added that Tate would be working when he wasn't examining. Brady said that Roman had consented to give Tate a task at the Brady Bar. Tate contended with Brady about the choice. Marlena was more than happy to see Tate in her family room when she got back. Marlena and Tate prodded each other before she left with Brady to assist with setting up Tate's new room. Subsequently, Tate messaged Holly. Tate inquired as to whether Holly needed to hang out the next day. Holly, furious at Tate for having enlightened Nickel regarding her crush, had unforgiving words for Tate. Apologies, motor mouth. We're dead to me, Holly messaged. At the Dim Era house, Johnny requested that Holly watch Dumbfounded with him and Channel. At the point when Johnny began to hack, Holly proposed to snatch water for Johnny and Channel. Alone with Channel, Johnny said he trusted that the night hadn't been a failure for Channel. It's never a bust when I'm with you, Channel said affectionately. Johnny astonished Channel when he requested that she move into the house with him. Channel asked that she and Johnny not lose sight of what's most important so right on time into their revived sentiment. Channel and Johnny were kissing when Holly got back with a look of dissatisfaction all over. As she conveyed glasses of water on a plate, Holly slipped and she spilled water all over Channel. Holly apologized as Channel made a beeline for change into one of Johnny's shirts. Alone in the room, Johnny let Holly know that the house had been more charming since she and Nickel had moved in. Holly piled lauded on Johnny and she inquired as to whether she could let him know confidential. Holly was apprehensive as she arranged to let Johnny know that she had a keen interest in him. All of a sudden, Susan entered. Susan screeched with amuse at seeing Johnny, who was overpowered with delight that Susan was alive. Susan enlightened Johnny and Nickel concerning Ava and Harris having safeguarded her. Susan requested EJ to let Ava be. Johnny added that it was the ideal opportunity for EJ what's more, Ava to start from scratch. EJ induced that he was dwarfed and he said that he concurred. New record it is, EJ said disdainfully. Simultaneously, Rafe gazed at a document on EJ at the police headquarters. I realize you attempted to have Ava killed. She might be free, yet that is no joke, Rafe shared with himself. Harris and Ava's day took an unexpected turn when they received heartwarming news. A long-awaited email arrived, bearing the exciting message they had been hoping for. Their faces lit up with joy as they learned that they had both secured their dream jobs. Harris had been offered a position at a prestigious tech company while Ava's manuscript had been accepted for publication. This remarkable double success left them speechless for a moment before they shared a euphoric embrace. It was a testament to their hard work and determination, and their future was now filled with promise and opportunities, solidifying their bond even further. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.